Today we're visiting the old Orkney Street Police Station. It was a jail for well over 100 years and many Govanites found themselves incarcerated inside it. There's not been a prisoner held here for over 20 years and today it's the Orkney Street Enterprise Centre. But apparently there's an awful lot of the cells still in existence in there. So we're going to go inside just now to meet Tommy Doherty and he's going to show us what's what. So wow Tommy, it's, it's really not changed very much at all, has it? It still looks like a, a proper cell block. You could put prisoners in here tomorrow. It was renovated in a manner which made sure it preserved the yeah. you know, integrity of, of what it was. So we find ourselves in the former Orkney Street police station. Basically what you see today in the jail cell is what was there you know, during its, its full life. There's been so many characters and people actually came through here. Uh, Jimmy Boyle, he was... Jimmy Boyle was in possibly a number of cells in here yeah, at, at some point. Born in the Gorbals in 1944, Boyle grew up running with the gangs and was soon in trouble with the police. He was first arrested at the age of only 13, and by 23, he'd been convicted of murder. In prison, he earned the nickname of Scotland's most violent man. Now, it was actually for men and women. You know, the women's section tended to be to upstairs, do you know what I mean? Right. So it had to deal with whoever, right. you know, came through the door under, you know, whatever circumstance and such like. So I think the maximum number was, it was like 80, but to be expected in these cells, but during an old firm game, he certainly well probably doubled that. I think on one occasion also, if, if uh, you recall, I think there was a, a couple of old firm players ended up in here. Celtic Rangers matches are never genteel tea parties. The game that was held at Ibrooks Park on 17th October 1987 was a bit more of a stramash than usual. But for once, it didn't finish there. The big shock came later when McAvenny, Woods, Butcher and their fellow Ranger Graham Roberts were all brought here to Govan Police Station on the 1st of November and charged by the Procurator Fiscal, accused of actions likely to cause breach of the peace. This is the original cell, or one of the original cells, so all the cells oh. you've got were actually um, like this. This is awful. By the look of it, one of the first things they all did was to, to sign themselves in on the walls. All the cells are like this, actually, where there's, you know, people like to uh, record the fact that they, yeah. they were actually here. You yeah, actually, a lot of people spent a lot of time in a lot of different cells and it was almost a bit of a, a family tree you can actually right, uh, trace. Like the cells yeah. Game, yeah. Oh, de so, definitely, right. in the old firm days. Now you're looking in here, this was a cell, probably should be for I mean, one person, but you could, you could get six or seven six. in here. It makes you want the next time you're on the train to Edinburgh. Uh -huh. You're all crammed together. Uh -huh. just, you'd just be like, ah, just like the old coven police cells up and all for a match. Yeah. So today it's a successful business enterprise centre, but the building's other, darker, longer legacy won't be forgotten anytime soon, I think. And if you've been a bad boy or a bad girl, this was the last thing you'd see for quite some time.